Hi, welcome to the video on digital logic. And uh, my name is Hira Shaheen. In this video, I am going to discuss about the canonical forms of of Boolean expression. Okay, there are two types of canonical forms. One is canonical sum of product, and another is canonical product of sum. So first we'll see can canonical sum of products so here the definition is a product term which contain each of n variables as factors either in complemented form or uncomplemented form is called a min term okay a min term is given the value 1 for exactly one combination of the variables and the sum of all min terms of f for which f assumes 1 is called canonical sum of products or disjunctive normal. This is also called disjunctive normal form. Okay. So, what you do? You pause the videos and write it down. And then I will explain you with the help of example also that how this what is this canonical sum of products okay so start from here pause the video write it down and after that you note this point okay so I'm moving ahead so let's take this example okay so this table is given in which three variables boolean variables are a b c and uh, since three variables are there so we can have eight combinations from 0 to 7 okay so these are the bo uh, binary equivalents of these numbers 7 and here suppose your f is given function output is given that it is 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 1 to for find the min terms and to write this function in terms of sum of min terms then how you write it we will see only the values which are having 1 in f column ok so what we are seeing that this is 0 this one is 1 this one is having 1 this one is having 1 and this last one is having one okay so when you have to write it in the terms of min terms what you have to do you have to see that the what is the values of a b c here here since a is 0 we will write it as a bar b bar and c bar all are 0 and it, it, that is a bar b bar c bar and we write it in the product form a bar dot b bar dot c bar I am not writing dot here dot if we are not writing anything that means dot dot means ending so that is product product term okay and we will write for 0 as a complement or bar so a bar b bar c bar is 1 and for this and what you have to do you have to add it means you are doing or so for this one a bar b bar c a bar b bar c and for this one a bar b c bar a bar b c bar and this one is whole everything is one here so a b and c that is a b and c okay so we have what we have to do we have to write the product in product form and we, all the terms we have to add and this is known as canonical sum of products okay these are called min terms min terms are written in the form of products of the terms in which your functions value is 1 okay 
so see here it is one here it is one here it is one here it is one we have to do the uh, sum of all these terms which are having one so this is one and this value is ha this value is variable is a bar b bar c bar and we write it this terms in terms of product so these are called min terms this is min term and we are doing sum of main terms to find the function okay from and uh, now from this function also you can find this table so this is called main term and you can write in this form also f is equal to 0 1 2 7 this is known as compact representation of this you can write in this form also this Sometimes in your exam you are given this form also. So you must know that it is also written. This can be written like this. Okay. So let's move on. Now we will see what is canonical product of sum. A sum term which contains each of n variables as a factor either in complemented or uncomplemented form is called max term in canonical sum of product what we had seen we had seen min term but in the canonical product of sum we will find max term okay and max term gives the value 0 for exactly one combination of the variables here it will gives the value 0 for exactly one combination of the variables and the product of all max terms max term is a sum a sum term and what we have to do the product of all max terms of f for which f assumes 0 for which f has value 0 will do the product of all the those max terms is called the canonical product of sum or it is also called conjunctive normal form okay so write it down and then we will see one example of it ok now let's see this question ok here the variables three variables are given abc and abc can take how many combinations are possible with this three variables 8 2 to the power of 3 is 8 so the three eight combinations are possible from 0 to 7 okay so we are finding the boundary values of these numbers and now let's assume the value of f let's say here it is 1 0 1 0 let's say it is given that this is the table now what you have to do for the max term you have to see the values of value of f where it is 0 so here it is 0 here it is 0 here it is 0 here it is 0 so we have to see the only this row which are having function uh, f value as 0 and now we have to see here it is a0 b0 c1 so what you have to do where it is 0 you have to assume it as a you have to write it as a and b also and when the c when the variables value is 1 we will write it in in the complemented form and then we will do sum we will write it in the sum form so it is a plus b plus c bar and now this is a b bar c bar a a b bar c bar and add it ok now we have done this now a bar b c bar a bar a bar 
प्लस बी प्लस सी बार ओके एंड नाउ वील डू फॉर दिस वन अगेन हेयर ए बार प्लस बी बार प्लस सी ए बार प्लस बी बार प्लस सी isn't it and now we will do product of these sum terms these are sum terms and here by writing dot we are finding the product of these sum terms this is called canonical product of sum so f is, is equal to this and you can write this in the compact representation like pi 1 Three, five, six. One, three, five, six. Okay. So this is canonical product of sum, and the earlier was canonical sum of product, and this is this compact representation of this example. Okay. So. Let's see one example. Here, question says that truth table is given, and you have to write the canonical form of the given functions f1, f2, f3. Okay, so the table is given, and a, b, c, three, a, b, c are three variables, and f1, f2, f3 are the functions for which you have to write the canonical forms. So, you know that canonical. sum of product is the sum of min terms min terms assumes the value for which the function has value 1 so if we are talking about function f1 then we will see the values for which it is 1 so it is 1 here it is 1 here and 1 here and 1 here so there are four values so we will see what are the variable and what are the variables value a b c so it is 0 1 0 0 means it is 2 you can write the values here also 4 5 6 7 just for to make it easy okay so here it is 2 3 5 and 7 the so 2 3 6 2 3 5 and 7 are having values 1 for f1 so you you can write in this way also that f1 is equal to sum of 2 3 5 7 here it is okay f1 is 2 3 5 7 how we are finding this we are seeing that where the f1 is 1 here 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 these are one so f1 can be written like this you can like write in this form also that um, it is a bar b c bar plus a bar b c plus a b bar c plus a b c or in this way also and if you are if you are asked to write it in the product of sum form then what you have to do you have to see the values uh, in which the function which uh, function is having value 0 so here it is this 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 but you can do it directly also what you have to do you have to see that the what are the terms are which are missing here these 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 terms were having number having value 1 then other other numbers should have the value zero so if you are asked to write in the product form then you can write 0 1 4 6 isn't it you can directly write it and in the same way for f2 you are asked then what you have you will write you will see here where it is one so it is one and one here look at here okay f2 is one here and one here so what are the uh, uh, values corresponding to it the number it is 0 and 5 so it is 
zero and five. For product term, it is sum sum of min term. Product of max term will be the the, the rest of the term which are not here. So it is one, two, three, four, six, and seven. Okay. Now, uh, what uh, for F three? For F three, look at look in the into the table. Okay, so F three is one in two, three, six, seven. So you can write for F three sum of two, three, six, and seven. Okay, and for product term. Uh, rest of the terms zero one four five. Okay, so this will be the answer of this example. Well, that's all for today. If you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching my video.